Good evening, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from the beautiful island of Tobago, the sister island of Trinidad. Today, I'm super excited because I'm here with my boy, Chef Jason Peru, and we're going to Block 22, the number one spot to have fried chicken on the island. Let's do this, boy. I've been hearing about this spot for a very long time. I'm from Trinidad. I've never actually tried Block 22. Oh, no way. So it's our first time together, bro. Okay, let's, let's do, do it. it. So it's a big sandwich, huge chicken. Let's go inside. Okay, that's great. So you see these massive pieces of chicken, they are quartered. You know, so that you can leg and tie your breast and wing. And on big or on local hot bread. You also can get fish. These are filets, you'll find out what type it is inside there. And then, of course, everything here is you get your condiments. So we have the fried chicken, we have the bread, and then we also have fish. We should definitely try the fish. They have some. We were worried they were going to be done because yeah. it's already nine at night. But we got some. So these are all different sauces. Oh, he's loading it. Check this out. Okay, so here we have what we would call the Patriot of the establishment, Block 22. This is Clementine and Michelle, whose brother was the original founder of this establishment. This is 50 years ago, you told me? Yes, sir. Yeah, so she came across from Trinidad to Tobago? Yes, he was working at something in school there. Ah. He started off with a little parlor. We started selling bacon and saltfish. And when I came to Tobago, I introduced chicken, fried chicken. But, but let me ask you something. How about that chicken? I mean, the, 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 the beauty of this is the size of the chicken and use the size of the bread. They got a like nice piece of chicken and it's just this nice little bun, yes. this bun, you know? So this is something that I mean, this is identified. Because they have other places, but they are as, they are as um, popular or and they taste the people from Trinidad, all over the country, mm -hmm. all over the world, when they come, they come in here to get our yeah, yeah. fish of course. and fries or fish and beef, coconut beef, or fish and hops. On the plane, when we were coming over, we had people telling us, they say, hey, they don't want to see you. You have to check out Block 22. Block 22. Yeah. Carson, how you doing? Hey. Ready to go? Hey, how you doing? Hello. Okay, so we're doing chicken here. Yeah, this is Oh, it's fish? Yeah. So what's frying over there? Fish. Fish is what I'm going to fry over there. And the other one? Chicken. Kingfish, guys. Yes. She just put kingfish into this oil. As you can see, it's starting to bubble super, super hot. Over here, the chicken's on fire. I mean, it is extremely hot. Can't even get too close. Massive. Oh, 10 minutes. Oh. 10 more minutes, huh? Yeah. My friend and me are here baking. We're starting to melt. Yes. <laughs> It oh, is yes, too hot. Are, yes, it's so hot. Are. Oh, that's huge. Look at that chicken. Yes. Massive. Yes. So you put all that into a bun. Yes. All that. Well, bun, bake, or fries. I mean, I think I'm going to go with the bun because that's like the most traditional way. Yeah, like, that's how they started, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Woo. Woo. So that's a bake right there, right? Coconut bake. So that's a bake and chicken. Not a bacon fish. The other one's bacon fish, correct? Yeah. All right, guys. So right here, he's testing it to see if it's ready, right? Well, that's ready. Ready? Yes, it's all ready. Okay, perfect. And that's basically it. The fish is ready, the chicken's ready. So the process keeps going like that, right? She's so gonna just bread more chicken, fry it, waits 20 minutes, it's ready, people yeah. order. So you order right over here. Everything's 85, you said? Right, what's the price for everything? Chicken and bacon is 38, with the fries is 40, and with the bread is 32. And fish and fries go according to the size. So I didn't even notice it was different sizes here. So you have wings, you have drumsticks, you have breasts, right? You have basically the whole chicken. And you put that whole thing inside? Yes. Inside the bun? Yes, that. Okay, I think we're ready to order. <laughs> you guys good? Everybody good? Dude, we're getting chicken, we're getting fish, we're getting everything. Let's go, let's order. Man, you're still here? <laughs> oh yeah, you went for the breast? Awesome. Okay, so you collect from there, but you order from here, right? So you pay here? We have a block 22 tour guide. Oh, do we? <laughs> yeah. Riviano, yeah. nice, yeah. pleasure Riviano. All right, I'm ready to order. I need um, four leg and thigh sandwiches, that's on hops bread. Okay. And give me um, a fish uh, special, yes. four leg and thigh on hops, and uh, one fish of fries. And you know what, let's get beer. Uh, the Caribe, another one, right? Yeah, give me a Caribe, and give me a stuff. She wants us to choose the, the slice of fish. We get to choose whatever we want. Mm -hmm. The biggest and juiciest. The biggest and the juiciest slice <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. She's gonna build our chicken with that beautiful hops bun. So she's just cutting all the breads first, right? 
Like that? Yes. That's a sandwich? Yes. I mean, that's a massive sandwich. Yes. That is huge. I love that we're going to have so many condiments, so we can add all those sauces if you want. It's going to be great. Get me a good piece. <laughs> <laughs> you right? <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Look at that chicken dish. Right here we have the kingfish, beautiful kingfish. So first and foremost, let's start with some garlic sauce on top of it. Okay. So garlic on all of them. Oh, we could just do our two. Let yeah. Even the the rest. Barbecue sauce. Honey mustard, huh? Yeah. Look at that monster. Of course, we have that Indian. That's the beauty about our flavors here, right? We mix and harmonize everything. We're back in the back. She's flouring the chicken. So how much chicken are you doing right now? Like, this is like five pounds or something. Yeah, but I'm doing half of this. I'm flouring out half of this right now. So 30 pieces. Yeah. Just a lot of flour. Non-stop flour here. Before I eat my sandwich, I'm gonna see her bread the chicken. She's getting 30 pieces right now. She has this incredible flour. So 30 pieces non-stop. She literally does not stop until it's done. It takes about five minutes. Then she's gonna throw it into the fryer, yes. and then it's 20 minutes, and then it's done. And this is the last batch of the night, right? No. Getting, no. <laughs> Whoa, it has more. More, oh my gosh. All right, is that ready to go? Yeah. Let's go, straight into the fryer. That's it? All right, we're ready. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so good. The spread, huh? I didn't dress the fish yet. You dressed it right before, I didn't want to get soggy. Let's do this. Let's do this. How does this even work? We just basically just gonna start to tear, then pick up the chicken, start to eat it. Okay. And uh, we just start to tear the bread. Okay. I knew you could never hold this together. You can't, right? It's all about the aesthetics. I mean, I wanna try. You wanna try it? Your mouth is that big? Like that. I mean, there's bones in here, right? So. Yeah. It's hard. I'm gonna just go in with the chicken first. Let's go. Let's go. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Oh wow. Simplistic but tasty, bro. Mm-hmm. Yes. Super tasty, super juicy. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, it's not dry, right? Not dry at all. The crunch is oh, wow. the crunch is there. The crunch is there. It's amazing. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's incredible. Mm. I love this chicken, huh? Okay. I love all oh, sauces. Mm -hmm. Take a piece of the bread, mm -hmm. drag it in the sauce. Yeah, that's a hot bread. The hot bread, huh? Nice fluffy bread. You can never do this though because of all the bones, right? Like it's not possible. You can do it. It's a technique. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. Try that tamarind sauce. Mmm. Tamarind sauce. Tamarind sauce. Gonna put it on top, right? Like that. Just have some of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Tamar makes a difference. Oh my god. Nice and sweet. So good. Okay, so look at that tamar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mustard too. Sweet, tart, mm -hmm. spice, nice ketchup inside there, the tart. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, what good bread. Last time we ate was at 3 p.m. in the middle of the bush in Trinidad. It's 9.30, I think, right now. I need to clean your bone like that. Mm-hmm. You know there's flavor to the bone, right? Oh, dude, look at that. Beautiful. What well, thing? What I love is that it's not dry. It's not dry at all. It's super moist. The crispy on the exterior. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, chicken. <gasps> oh, hot, so hot. Mm. Just medium fried chickens, obviously, straight out of the fryer. And that's how they do it here, right? Mm -hmm. That's not sitting for any long period of time. It's not sitting. They yeah. make like 30 pieces at a time. Actually, I saw people just waiting. They rather wait for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, see, I've never had fried chicken like this in my life. Mm, between the sauces, the bun, mm, the batter. And it's not super heavy, right? No, at all. It's light. It's crispy. You got chicken sometimes, it's just so much batter in it. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's amazing. Block 22, guys. Mm -hmm. Amazing. It's wow. like a late night spot, you know. Late night spot, huh? Party all night, drinking. Come here. I'm trying to make close. Okay. Oh, the fish. Forgot the fish. <gasps> Look at that piece. Ooh. My mouth is like watering. It's so good. Look at this. You just know this is going to be epic. Mm -hmm. This is a scrunch. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. 
Oh my gosh. When I walked in here, my friend outside, you see like, when you finish this, you're gonna have an orgasm. <laughs> Food orgasm right here. That's what it's about. Sensual. Dude. Making it walk water. It makes your mouth tingle. That's so good. Mm. I'm destroying it, huh? I love that skin. It's just super crispy. Mm -hmm. it reminds me of like teacher Mm-hmm. Super delicious. And this, the bread is so good. You just oh, mop, up, mop up everything with it, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need some more of this tamarind. This tamarind? That's not tamarind? That's like ketchup? <laughs> I'm, I'm wild here. I need it. Like that? Hi. You're addicted to the tamarind now, right? Mm hmm. Wow. It's a bigger to use a lot of tamarind. Yeah. So the sources. Yeah, it, bigger? Grows, it grows a lot of here on the beach. Oh, okay, that's why. Yeah, you see many tamarind trees throughout the island. My gosh, how addictive is this? I'm going to finish this off. So you, like that bread? you have to finish it's it. It's very doughy. It fetched. Super wow. doughy. I mean, it just so soaks up everything. Yeah. I just want it. I need it. Candice, how is it? Oh my god, speechless. No words. My mouth is filled. Mm hmm. So, it's the best I've ever had. I'm so impressed. And you know, we just did already came off the plane, hopped straight into the rental, came down here like during 10 minutes. We hit the road, running. I'm so satisfied. This is a place to stop when you touch on in Tobago. Block 22. Bacon with the fish, so. I love it, man. So delicious. Moist on the side, crisp on the exterior. Salmon sauce just makes it. You need to try the salmon sauce. We have the fish, the fries, and the bake. I saw the, I saw the fish there and it was looking too sexy not to try, right? I'm not, <laughs> big, not big of a fish person. I'm more of a chicken, but it does look good. Looks great. Let me show you this. We'll put it out. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Crispy, the batter is just shards all over it. You just know it's gonna be epic. So you just break off a piece? You just gonna break it off a piece just like that. No, those pieces are always crispy at the edge. We're mm -hmm. gonna go in for it. Ooh, super moist. You can see it shining. Mm -hmm. That's not fresh at all. That is, tastes so good. Mm -hmm. You know, you taste fresh and it's like, oh. Mm -hmm. wow. Taste the sea. It's amazing. It's amazing stuff, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll take more. Look at the batter. The batter just comes up nicely mm -hmm. when you bang it. This whole thing is the batter. The chicken and the fish, the batter is what makes this crispiness. Mm. See, the day, fish is so moist, right? It has a great amount of water content. Mm -hmm. so when you batter it up, you gotta fry it crispy a short period of time to ensure that that nice crisp exterior stays as it is. Okay. The fries. Oh, let's try some of the sauce. Okay, so tamarind? What's the tamarind? Tamarind must, bro. Let's put it right here in this corner, right? Dude, I just want, I just, I just, I just thinking that the tamarind is good. <laughs> I have to try the fries too, just a little bit. Mm. Tell me. Good. I'm seeing you have coconut bake here. Mm-hmm. Coconut bake. I want to try a piece. Okay, let's try it. Bring it up, please. Piece. Okay. Dip it inside. Oh, dipping it, huh? Mmm. Mm hmm So it's like a nice, dense bread. It's really good. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's just designed to suck up whatever sauces that you have inside you. Exactly. And sometimes in, in Trinidad and Tobago, bacon fish is such like a marriage made in heaven. Mm -hmm. Just like how you had bacon shark in Maracas. Mm -hmm. It can be fried like fish also. Bacon usually accompanies it. Yeah. Funny thing about it, you had fried bacon. This is also known as coconut bake. So any sort of bread uh, product that is even done in the oven or even fried, we still term as bake sometimes. Got it. So we could bake bake and you can fry bake. I, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> this, country, this country's wild. <laughs> no rules. I mean, it soaks up everything, right? That's the best yeah, part. I'm gonna go in again with a fish. Mm-hmm, dip in there. Oh boy, it just drips up, look at that. Mm -hmm. That's good, boy. Oh, that's good. That's damn good. And I'm not a fish person too much. Listen. I have a little more. Bake. Yeah. And that bake complements it extremely well. I mean, it's so good. And you get some of that crispiness, just soak it up. I can tell this is fresh coconut they're using, the grated coconut. Mm -hmm. You can see the specks of the husk inside there. Mm -hmm. You get cinnamon, a little touch of nutmeg. 
Tobago Indian songs are very sweet when it comes to these types of baked items. What do you think, man? This is a super place. I think we still have one more thing to try. The beer. Okay, I haven't tried Carib or Carib. Carib beer, the beer of Trinidad and Tobago, Tobago. and you have the... I have the Stag Lager beer, so... Cheers. Refresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are both light beers. They're yeah. lagers, 4.2% probably. This is for the beach. And at the end of the day, what we use when we lime in? Hit up your food bottles. What we lime in? I can't even understand what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> After a good meal like that, I mean that uh, that uh, chicken was extremely well. Mm -hmm. Of course, you get leg and ties or breast and wing. We took leg and ties, super moist. Tam and sauce, the mustard, the barbecue sauce, the ketchup, the hops bread, amazing. You love the fish, right? I love it. I'm lost for words, man. <laughs> At this point in time, dude, full. so good. That's it. I love this place. Block 22. The second you get out of the airport. Come straight here. Only a 10 minute drive. Amazing. We got here at 8 at night. By 9.30 we're eating. Ready to go. That's it. That's, hey. a good, that's a good night. Tobago. Here we go. To Tobago. I hope you guys love the video. If you did, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to everybody here. Thank you guys. Not a problem. And thank Welcome you. Welcome to Tobago.